Hi, I've been away from YouTube for a while. Um, I had lots of things going on, uh, things that um, just affected my mood and how I was feeling about things and um, my skin especially. I've had to put a little bit of concealer on just for you guys today. Um, I had some more family members pass away on me and it's just taken its toll on me but I feel a bit more ready to record now. So I wanted to show you some um, items that I'm selling now on behalf of um, Vanza Sons. They are a sari shop based in Wembley, Ealing Road. They sell um, all sorts of items such as um, bandhani items, wedding items, gajoros, all sort of Indian style things. The thing that they've got in at the moment are these brocade blouses. Now brocade, as you know, are really in fashion. Um, they've been in now for quite some time, but people are still, you know, having blouses made and, and getting them done. And because they go so well with, you know, the kind of styles that are at right now. If you buy an outfit, you normally get a brocade blouse with it. If you want to wear an old style sari, you know, one from maybe your mum's era or something that you had 20, 30 years ago, even 10 years ago. I've got silk saris from when I got married and I love wearing them with a brocade blouse. I, the, the silk saris that I have, the blouses are in the same um, material and the same colour as the actual sari. And although that's nice and elongating and quite elegant, because, you know, saris are quite um, contrasting at the moment with, with two colours and it's just nice to have a contrasting brocade blouse that really sort of brings that sari up to the minute and you see Akshara doing it in um, um, one of the Star Plus serials, I don't even watch them now so I can't remember but Gobi and Rashi wear you know, these blouses a lot so this is one of the styles of blouses where you've got, um, this is the back piece, it's quite a long piece from here so it's not too short um, a blouse it's got the dhoris on which, if you watch my sari tutorials, you know how valuable these are. They stop heavy balus from falling off your shoulder. They stop the sari from flapping down over. And um, yeah, it just is a, a really good way of, of keeping the shape and the frame of the blouse. It's got these gorgeous bullions that run right along the back. It is a deep cut, um, but you don't need to worry about your bra showing because they've got these cups which are sensible size cups they're not like you know like my brown my my green blouse that I had with a really pointy cup cone cup it's not like that at all it's a really decent cup um front hook blouse as per normal the silai on it is is really good silai means um stitching when I talk desi stuff I end up saying words in desi language I'm sorry about that <clears throat> It's also got um, an inch seam on, on the inside and, and as you know if you wear saris then you, you, you tend to um, take a new blouse and then just run the um, sewing machine or you know hand sew a nice little edge around it because sometimes like with these ones when I, when I tried them on I've got to take the blouse at the arms in just a little bit and you can hand stitch a little curve in there and that just makes it fit right under the arm so they're really easily adjustable and easily openable the sizes are from um, 32 inch bust to 44 inch bust um, the, the larger blouse obviously can be the seams can be opened out to make uh, the next size up so this is one of the blouses it's got a um, this is a really gorgeous blue but it's, it's coming out more of a uh, a royal blue but this is actually a bright blue but I can see on camera already the colour is slightly changing and it's got this gorgeous design on it. Another one that I have is um, that design which is really really beautiful it looks great with plain saris, a plain black sari, plain green sari or a gold sari or a mustard or a rust, anything, it would look gorgeous. The reason this bag is on here is to just protect the tassels and stop them from getting tangled with the other blouses. I got a plain silver which is in this crushed um, tissue material, I don't know if that's going to pick up at all. There you go, that's the crushed tissue material. This is my favourite, the next one I'm going to show you. And all these are my personal ones which um, I've got now because, you know, I just love them. I really do like these brocade blouses. And that can go with a plain black sari, blue, pink, you know, magenta even, red. I got this one because I've got a dusty pink sari, more this colour that's inside, and um, the blouse is the same. So I just, 
it's quite a plain sari with just a heavy bulla and I thought this blouse would then just really sort of bring it up into um, right here right now. I don't want to make the video very long but I wanted to show you one of the blouses and show you how they work really well with different saris. So this one here was the very first one I picked out. It's gold and it's got this self um, dotted polka dot print. Those cups look so dodgy in the um, in the video but they're actually really really comfortable and you don't have to wear a bra. So this sari blouse is going to go so well with my gorgeous sari from 2004. Remember these tie-dye ones that was uh, featured in Gaihin um, Kisiros with, um, you know, oh, I can't even remember the names now, but you know, they came out and I went and got one of these. I really absolutely love the border on that. Zardosi work is my favorite. The blouse is exactly like this with this on the arms. And I just thought that this blouse with this sari is just going to really bring it up to the minute and I'm going to be able to wear this 2004 sari with this and it's just going to look awesome. The same blouse, the same blouse is going to go really well with um, my sari that my mum gave me for Diwali one time. It's when I got married so it's a good few years old, 10 years old I think. But look at that. The blouse is going to go so well with the purple and the gold. I'm bringing it right up to now. So this is really great with silk saris. This sari is the one that I used to wear to Navratri when I was a little girl, when I was about 13 years old. And I love the colour. It was something my mum didn't have. This is my mum's sari and she gave it to me because she remembered that I wore it a lot. But again, this gold blouse is going to bring it right up to the minute. I never had a blouse for this sari. Um, I can't remember what I used to wear with it, but it was probably an old gold one or something. But this is just going to look absolutely awesome with it. I can't hold all these together, unfortunately. But yeah, plain silk blouse with, you can just see the inside there. So yeah, plain silk blouse with a nice silk outfit. <laughs> And then finally, um, with that Kahinkisi Rose, there was this, this is the other sari that I bought. Same as the, the first one I showed you, same type, type of border, but I just fell in love with the, the sequin work and the cut laser work that's here. But the, the sari, sari blouse is also quite orange and again, too bright for me to wear. I've only worn it to um, my niece's Guy Hollard once. And with this blouse, it just takes the orange right down and just, you know, I'm able to wear it quite well so um, without looking too much like I've been tangoed. <laughs> Finally this sari is a gorgeous net sari and it has been turned inside out because the zardosi work is just too much and it's been trashed by somebody who I shall not name but they know who they are. Um, I need to go in and, and repair all this work that's been pulled out but look at how gorgeous does that look with this sari? <laughs> See? See my point? <laughs> I think it's going to look really, really nice. I can't wait to wear those. And that just, the purpose of all of that was to show you how versatile it is to um, have a brocade blouse. So I've shown you all the saris. I've just got this last purpley, gorgeousy one to show you. There are other embroidered styles as well, but I had quite a lot of those. Um, I will show you these on with the outfits when I make sari tutorials, so um, keep posted. I just wanted to quickly show you what they look like. Um, they are really cost effective. They kind of cost me, um, well, they're going to cost you guys about tw between 20 and 25 pounds, depending on which one you wanted. But to put it into perspective, if you saw one of my sari draping videos, I think it was the hanging bala one. I wore this blouse, or even in the engagement one that um, Diana did the makeup on for me, um, I wore this blouse. This blouse I had done in a shop in Wembley, and um, my tailor has made it too short, so you know, my, my under booby bits going to kind of poke out under here. And if you put um, the size and the length into perspective with another one from here, you can really see how short that is. Because of the cups, it won't really lay flat. <laughs> Okie dokie. So you can really see how short that is. It's just ridiculous. 
Um, so they're a really, these blouses are a really good length. I also paid £85 for this, £50 went on the fabric. I mean the fabric is gorgeous without a doubt. It's a lot thicker than these, a lot more stiffer and a lot more good quality brocade. Is that, that it makes it a lot more stiff and you do feel a lot hotter in that one but these are you know an absolute bargain um, I've done a load of blog posts recently um, one is obviously for the blouses and, and showing all the photos and the prices and everything the link to that will be in the comments box below I've also done another one for a lady who saw my Lengasari draping video and wanted to know what the measurements were um, she wanted to actually make her own and um, I just think that that's so wonderfully creative of, of, of a viewer and um, it just touches me that she's taken the sari that you know is my sister's engagement sari which is gorgeous it's absolutely stunning and she's going to make her own so she's ordered fabrics from everywhere and she was just saying can you please just take the time to to measure the panels for me and the edges and you know all that and so I went one step further I drew it out for her and I've also um um taken measurements of you know the tops and the bottoms and everything and and put detailed photographs of all the seams and how it's all put together and where the nets are placed where the borders are placed and all of that so if you're interested in making your own lengo sari then um the link will be in the blog post below in the comments box below to that blog post um if you do make one i'd love to see it please do show me <laughs> I love um, I love all that creative stuff. Yeah, so hopefully it won't be so long before I see you again. Um, see you guys soon. Bye.